the Milwaukee Marathon returns tomorrow for the first time in five years. It's exciting for the runners, but a potential issue for people parking in the area. 12 News' Nick Bohr is live at Humboldt Park in Milwaukee, where the marathon ends. Nick, the city is issuing a warning about parking along the route. Right, Patrick, this is the finish line for all three events, the 5K, the half marathon, and the full marathon with thousands of people taking part. For safety, the city is restricting parking all around the lot, the uh, city. So really, if you uh, park anywhere in the city, double check tonight to make sure your spot is still legal or risk being towed. For the first time since 2019, the Milwaukee Marathon and thousands of runners are back. I'm very excited. I've run a lot of marathons. I've run 75 marathons, so I'm really excited about coming back to Milwaukee and running in, in the area here. Even if you're not picking up a bib at the Baird Center today, you could still be impacted by the marathon. We just don't want to tow people cars if we don't have to. Oh, but they will be doing just that, starting at midnight tonight all across the route, stretching across the city. Restricted parking signs and bagged meters are going up. The east side of the city, stretching far north and as far south, will be affected, uh, particularly the Bayview areas on the south side and on the north side, the UWM area. There are three routes in all, from the marathon to the half marathon to the 5K, all ending at Humboldt Park. We're tasked with the responsibility of ensuring that this route is cleared so that participants in the marathon can participate safely. It's my first race ever. Kira Voden won't be focused on the parking, though. For her, it's about finishing her first half marathon. Hoping for good weather and... I hope so. Lots of sun. I know there's beer at the end, so it's well, it'll be worth it. Well, Nick, we're talking about some major streets that will be affected by this. Right, Patrick, and these closures go into effect at midnight in most cases, including a busy East Oklahoma Avenue here along Humboldt Park, as well as portions of Lake Drive, Broadway, Lincoln, Memorial Drive, and Kinnikinnick Avenue. So double check the signs and the meters where you usually park, even if you park there every night. The towing begins at midnight.